Assalamu alaikum. This video we are trying to fix a BIOS file belongs to an HP EliteBook X360 1030G2 laptop. Here is the motherboard number and we have two BIOS chips on this motherboard. U366 is 64 megabits or 8 megabytes for the EC chip and we have U365 is 128 megabits or 16 megabytes for the main BIOS chip. You can use any SBI programmer to get the BIOS files from these chips but remember to choose the suitable adapter in our case it is WSON 86x5. Here is the two dumb files. This one is the main BIOS. I can say it belongs to an Intel device because this value here in the header refers to the flash script region. The footer looks normal and the length is 1 million in hexadecimal because the file size is 16 megabytes. The header of the EC file will be empty like this, no problem, but the footer will look like the main file and the length is 800,000 because the file size is 8 megabytes. If I want to find the DMI section in the main file, I can search for book as an example. Just remember to choose Unicode while searching. Here is the DMI section. This one is serial number, SQ number, board city number, product name, etc. I have to copy the serial number in order to download the BIOS from HP website. But I also need to delete these extra symbols. It refers to the same model number that we already know. B80 is our BIOS family. We should find the same keyword in our original BIOS. Yes, it is there and here is our BIOS version, it is 49. I always prefer to choose the same BIOS version if you can, so I will choose this one here. Extract that file. And we got the bin file easily. But as you can see, it is smaller than our original file. I think you already know that because it is just a BIOS region, not a full BIOS image. The file length is 900,000 in hexadecimal. So if I want to know the beginning of the BIOS region in my original file, I can use the calculator. 1 million minus 900,000 equal 700,000. Now I can go to offset 700,000 in my original file. Here should be the beginning of my BIOS region. I will copy the whole data in the downloaded file and will choose best right there. Save as the file. New.pen. It must be the same size as the original file. I have to transfer the DMI. If I search for the serial number in the new file, I will not find anything. But if I search for it in the old file, it will be there. Let's check if there is an OEM Windows key or not. No, this file doesn't contain an OEM Windows key. Open the original file using UEFI tool old engine. Copy the hex value of your serial number and search for it there. We have one result, it is pointing to this volume here, so we need to extract it as is. We can name it DMI, open the DMI volume, copy the first hex lines and search for it in the original file. This offset is the beginning of the DMI volume, we'll go to it in the new file. You can see the differences, copy the whole data in the DMI volume, choose best right in the new file, then save it. Now if I search for the serial number, it should be there. Yes, it is here. It is the time to clean the ME region. Analyze the file using ME Analyzer tool. File system state is initialized means not clean. I need to get a stock ME file that has the same ME version, SQ, chipset, and bar down mitigation. This file here has the same details. Let's analyze it to be sure. As you can see here, it is the same, but the file system state is unconfigured. So I can use it to clean my new file. Now open flash image tool. You have to choose the suitable version depending on your case. Drag the new file. Go to build settings. Set generate intermediate files to new. And save as the .xml file. Copy the stock ME file, go to this path, and replace it with ME region. Then delete the old file, back to flash image tool, open the saved.xml file, then press on build image. 
now we have the out image file it has the same length as our original file if we analyze it everything will be the same except the file system state it is configured in the out image file means clean so we are done now for the ec file we can't rebuild it but if you have any doubts about it you can just use ec file from another working device but it should belong to b80 bios family like this one here it will work fine except if you have a security issue on your device this may cause some error messages but we can handle it later i hope you learned something useful from this video we'll see you soon in another one inshallah assalamu alaikum